This video guides a user through the steel master control lever symbols, proper starting procedures, and initial warm-up steps to not only properly start the unit, but also help prevent the risk of damage to the product. This position should be selected if the engine is cold, meaning it has not been run recently, or if the engine ran out of fuel, causing the engine to stop. This position should be selected if the engine is warm. For example, the engine has been run within the past several minutes, or when the engine begins to fire or attempts to start, recognized by a distinct sound. This is the run position. This is the off position. The location of the steel master control lever and symbols may vary slightly by model. If your steel chainsaw looks different than the one shown on the screen, please refer to your product-specific instruction manual. We will now demonstrate the cold start procedure. Engage the chain brake by pushing the handguard forward. Place your right hand on the rear handle. Grip the handle, pressing down on the trigger lockout and squeezing the throttle trigger. While squeezing the throttle trigger, push the master control lever down with your thumb to this position. Position the chainsaw correctly for starting. Pull out the starter grip slowly until you feel a little resistance. Then, pull out the starter grip the rest of the way with a short, fast pull. Repeat this process until the chainsaw attempts to start. Upon hearing the saw attempting to start, set the master control lever up one notch to this position. This is also the position you would start if the engine had been run recently. Continue pulling on the starter grip until the chainsaw starts, then immediately squeeze the trigger and release it. As you can see, this causes the master control lever to move to the run position, allowing the engine speed to reduce or come down to an idle. Disengage the chain brake and take the time to warm up the product to ensure that you will get the most of your steel chainsaw. After a brief warm up, the saw is now ready for operation. Now that we've covered the proper starting procedures, we would like to demonstrate what could happen if these are not followed. As a reminder, you must squeeze the throttle trigger once the engine starts so the master control lever moves to the run position. Also, high engine speed with the chain brake on will quickly damage the chainsaw. Always disengage the chain brake before accelerating the engine and before starting to cut. Failing to do so can cause destruction. Smoke is an indication of abnormal running conditions.